are growing up much faster than in, in this environment than anywhere else. Being a more and more political environment as well, I thought it's interesting. Uh, it is well a safer approach to this very complicated conflict, uh, trying to, to see the destiny of, of childs. Right now in Syria there is nothing else but politics. Children are the entire time surrounded by people talking day in and day out about politics, about what's going on, about the crimes done by the other part of uh, the, this word Shabiha. It's, it's, you hear it the whole time. So of course children pick it up. War has a tremendous uh, effect to children's life and you can see this actually by the faces of these girls. All of them are going through a very, very sensitive part of their childhood and two and a half years of fear of a very unnormal structured life as well, plus the danger, plus the, the, the horrific scenes they're going through, losing people they've been used to see every day and suddenly the, the head is blown up, uh, it's, it's terrible. I think it's up to see what's gonna, what this generation, how this generation is gonna be able to deal with and cope with this uh, experiences. A lot of children, if they are strong enough <clears throat> They, they would take certain roles within this revolution and they, the parents would be very proud that these young children are able to put their little part on the big picture. The younger you are, the better and more honorable it is that you can show that you're strong enough to, to be part of a, of a society which takes their destiny in their own hands. You can't just the whole time be sad or desperate about that your children are facing all this trouble. You have to go and move on because otherwise it's impossible to, to cope with the situation. It's either you just get your family and you leave to the country and you go to Turkey and you're staying there in a refugee camp which is not really nice either. Or you decide to stay and once you decide to stay then you have to try to, yeah, to accept the big changes and the, the, the environment you are living in for yourself and for your family. And it sounds hard and it's very difficult to understand for us how a family can, can yeah, take this huge decision of uh, letting their children be in such a dangerous place, but sometimes you just don't have a choice. <laughs> There is hope for these children, for this generation, for this country. People are very much aware about the danger of losing a generation, of losing a country. People are very much aware that it's not only about to defend themselves, to fight, it's as well about to build up and to reconstruct and to educate and to teach. And as much we hear about conservative Salafism, about jihadists uh, and about a country which is in a bloody uh, civil war, the majority of the people who are very much aware that they are in a very, very dangerous path and they're trying to find, even if there's very small steps, the part they could put in order to make it a little bit better and to build up something they can hold on, hope. <laughs>